Okay, so we are gonna do a Piper, flower, Piper Pipe and Flower Kit. Material list here, we have two quarts of titanium white heavy texture. We have our permanent green artist color, dial rod yellow, phthalo blue, napathol red, titanium white base coat. So I start by just pouring about half of the base coat right onto the panel. And we're gonna begin this by covering the entire panel with our base coat. And we're gonna slightly tint our base coat with just a hair of the dial rod yellow. A little smidge of yellow to warm this up. And that pretty much did it right there. So you wanna, you wanna be really careful with that. We're gonna coat the whole thing. We're gonna make sure we get the sides. kind of thick on there and that's okay. So what's nice about this base coat, when you do put it on thick, you don't need a lot of coats. You put a little bit more on here. We're gonna be doing a composition where about 75 to 80% could be more of it's gonna be covered with the textured flowers. It's gonna have a pattern with this white down here on the bottom. I wanna have just like a small gradient Pulling up, I'm gonna put just a hair with this permanent green down here. This stuff is super strong too, so you wanna be really careful with it. And I'm talking just a smidge. So you see that nice, light, minty color there? And you're gonna just kinda of see just, just a little bit on the brush. This is just a minor, minor accent, and you can really overdo this. So I have this on the brush. You can see how light that is. And I'm just gonna kind of feather it up from the bottom. Just a light feathering up. Give it a little bit of contrast against the white. Go ahead and put it on the top too. Even though it's gonna be covered, it won't hurt. So it's still dominant white, and that's it. Okay, well this is drying, we're gonna prepare our pastry bags. So we're gonna start with our quintuple tip, and this is a Russian tip, and what's cool about this tip, it's a one and done. Pipes out a whole flower at one time. Kind of really nice spikes in the middle of it. So we're gonna drop it in the bag, just kind of like that. Don't, don't force it in. There we know that's where it's gonna sit, and we're just gonna push it back a little bit. And the key is on this, you don't wanna cut it back too far up because if you cut it too far, it'll slide right out. So it's better to go, you know, a little not cut enough. And over here beside it, we'll put this dollar rod yellow. And what this yellow is gonna do, it's gonna tame this green. You can see this is the color of green when you add white. But this is gonna warm this green up a little bit. You kinda go to your preference, you know. But you can see right there, it's already turning into a nice, warm green and a way to test this if you want to test of what it's going to look like when it bleeds through put yourself a little bit of white down here and you can just when you mix it or run it over you're going to see what it's you know with with the, with the lighter white over it you can see what it's going to look like and that's looking pretty good but i'm going to warm it up a little bit more This one here, we're just gonna fill it, you know, just get these dollops of green in there, try and get it down close to here. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna move it around and make sure it gets all in the bag. Keep it kind of low, you don't wanna waste that paint, so keep it, you know, way down here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it with white, and as the white passes through, it's gonna capture the green. Okay, so I've got this collar here again so I can hold it and I can just start piping the paint in there. So I've got it all pushed down and I'm just gonna just squeeze it in there. Squeeze a little bit more in there. A little bit more in there. We're gonna use a lot of green. At this point here, you can see the white is all up here. I'm gonna tamp it down. This is the key here. You know, you've got you've got to do this with confidence and give these little bursts of energies to get these nice 
you know, vibrant, voluptuous petals. You know, we don't want them wimpy and craggy. We want them just plump and fresh. So this is really important is to keep this twisted and tight. So when you apply pressure here, it comes out really well. And you gotta give it these little bursts of energy like that. You can pull up on it or lay it down. Basically, what's gonna happen here, I'm gonna make a slight kind of composition line of what we're gonna follow. And it's gonna come down further, but this gives us just a good point of reference. It's all gonna be covered, so it really doesn't matter there, but if you wanna just get that green under there, it probably won't hurt either. This is, like I said, this will all be covered. But this will give us a nice foundation colors. We're going to make this color, put a dioride and a little bit of napathol here. We're going to make two piles because we're going to make two different colors. Make sure your knife is clean for mixing. Get the blue off of there. We're going to start mixing this one with the yellow. Which is kind of very, kind of creamsicle, peachy yellow. Doesn't have to be perfect because it'll show these nice variegations coming through. And we're gonna put some of the napathol in here and get some pink. We're gonna put a little bit of yellow in that so it's not too candy pink. A little bit more red. yellow in this one. We're just going to get a random pattern coming out of this one. I'm just going to put scoop in and a scoop in and a scoop in. So I got pretty much one side, but it's not, not going to be perfect. Put a scoop of yellow, scoop of pink. I'm kind of still putting them side by side, but it's not perfect. But these will come out all kind of swirly and fun like. Okay, so the same thing here, we're gonna tamp this down. These right here, you gotta get this nice firm pull. And you can see. How that center comes out. You can see those nice two-tone colors there. I'm gonna turn this around so it'll be easier for you to view. I'm, I'm okay, it doesn't matter if I'm painting upside down or not. It works out that way. And so I'm gonna kind of fill in right here in this corner. And this one, I want them to have nice tall spikes. And I think that's good for there. So now we have our primary three flowers plus the leaves. And we just kind of just start repeating these steps over and over. You, got, you have to be very firm with this, otherwise they get very kind of dumpy. So now I'm building on each one and seeing what we can do. Let's see, let's put another pink one right here. in here and I'm gonna start filling in the sides now because I have a little extra paint here. And I'm gonna do it dominant in green and then fill it in with random colors. The green gives it a nice frame. I do really big flowers, but like a nice little pink accent here on the side, like a little mini flower. Now I gotta make sure that that complements itself out there. And it's nice now. 
now the, the green is coming out a little bit white. So it gives it a nice variegated look, which I like. So I'm just gonna come across the top here, just fill all of this in with some green. I'm gonna pull some of the green up in because the lighter green, so it balances in, which looks really nice now. I like the lighter green kind of balancing out the deeper green. The last bit of white in this green bag here. Tamp it down. Accents of color. A little accent of blue in here. It's a little spiral. Well, I think it's a little funky right here. We're gonna get some more pink. This flower that got kind of buried in there. Not a big deal. Right, I do a smaller one. Like so this there. is kind of an abstract. Right here. It's gonna make this nice little dome. Right. 